Hello everyone, today I wanted to make a video showing you guys how to install Data Surgeon. So, you want to scroll down to this, this link in the description, and you want to go into the Quick Install section. And if you're on Windows, you want to go ahead and install Rust and GitHub through the, these URLs here. So if you're on Windows, go ahead and download this Rust, um, Rust up in it. And when it's done, go ahead and run it. And you're going to get something that looks something like this. So you just want to use one to install it, and I already have it installed, so it doesn't need to do anything. But if you don't have it installed, it's going to download all the packages it needs and install them. So now that you have Rust installed, you want to go uh, ahead and install Git as well. So Git's going to actually allow us um, to download the repository um, from GitHub. So I'm just going to run this. And pretty straightforward. We're just going to reinstall it here. I'm going to click that. You don't need to click that. And you can just literally just click next, 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 next. And that's going to install it. So once that's done, you just click out of that. And um, you want to copy the, this command down here if you're, if you're on Windows. Now keep in mind, if you do have a window open, like a terminal window, you are going to have to reopen it. And make sure you reopen it as admin. We're opening it as admin, so it's a, it'll actually install the tool anywhere, and we can use the tool anywhere um, in any directory. So it's removing my old version um, in the old data surgeon directory, and now it's going to reinstall it. There we go. So now it's completely installed, so we can exit out of this and let's open terminal. And you can see that it is now installed. So that's how you install it for Windows. Um, now I'm gonna be going over how to install it for Linux. So um, same thing, you wanna go to this, um, this Rust link and you're gonna have a command down here. Um, so you wanna copy this command this, cha this page will change depending on what operating system you're on. So if you're on Mac, you'll have something that looks like this as well. So you just want to copy this, and then you want to take it to your terminal and just paste it in. So I'm just going to say yes since I already have it installed, and I'm going to proceed with installation. So it's going to download all the packages it needs, and then it's going to install them. And then once that's installed, you just want to do sudo apt install git. And then this is going to install git. And then once that is done, copy and paste this Linux command. So it's going to remove the old binary. And there we go. Now it's installed. So now I can use dsh h and the tools installed um, to my terminal. I hope you guys enjoyed. The, um, the, those are the installations I wanted to go over. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments.